Hey guys, this is Justin. And this is Debbie. And we want to talk to you about the takeout challenge. We are super excited about this one for Top Chef. Uh, Brown Graham and Company sponsored this week and they gave us two iPads to give away to teachers. So this particular takeout challenge, we're going to give away an iPad just for folks that participate in this one. So we're excited to share uh, this challenge with you. And the topic for the challenge this time is going to be grit. And when I hear the word grit, I have an image that comes to my mind. I, I immediately see Rooster Cogburn in True Grit and start thinking about his character um, and all of those flaws that he had along, along with some of the qualities that we like to see. But uh, we're going to refocus our thoughts around grit and um, we're going to use some work from Angela Lee Duckworth. She did a TED Talk um, in 2013. It's about a six-minute TED Talk, and we're going to attach the clip to this uh, email that comes out to you. We want you to watch that one. Start thinking about what grit looks like in a classroom and what it would mean for students and how it could help us uh, create a successful environment for kids. And uh, then Debbie's going to talk to us about how we're going to share our thoughts around that. Thanks, Justin. I love the topic of grit, and I can't wait to discuss it uh, online on a Twitter chat with the rest of you from Canyon ISD. And this is going to take place on Wednesday, March 4th at home from 8 to 9. The topic will be grit, and a Twitter chat is the fast food of Twitter. It moves quickly. It's a, a way to have professional development anywhere, anytime, and you can have it at home just like you can take fast food or takeout food home. So we're looking forward to seeing you Wednesday, March 4th, 8 to 9, online on Twitter. And I'll tell you a little bit about that. One of the things is everyone is invited to join the chat. So anyone uh, from Canyon, anyone in the world could be on there. And so anyone is available to join us. And you're going to always use the hashtag CanyonISDChat in every tweet. And that's the way that you'll follow the chat, is by looking for that hashtag, Canyon ISD chat. And one of the things that you'll want to do is when you first get on, a little before 8 o'clock, you might want to get on and introduce yourself uh, to the group on the chat. So, example, you might say, I teach 6th grade math at Canyon Intermediate. Excited to learn with Canyon ISD chat tonight. Just might be a way to introduce yourself and let everyone know who you are and what you teach. And then, at that point, Justin and I will be the chat moderators, and we'll be tweeting the questions out. If you want to see the questions, you can follow the hashtag, CanyonISDChat, and you can also see it at Teach Forward, which is Justin, and Debbie Boyer 5, which is me. So, this is the way it'll work. Just a little after 8 o'clock, once introductions are finished, we'll send out a tweet that says something like, we're about to begin, and then we will start posing questions around the topic of grit. And the way we'll do that, when, when the moderator sends out a question, we'll always start with a Q and then the question that we're on. So this one is a great example, a Q1, and then it might say, what do you think about, and then we'll fill in the blank there. We'll put the hashtag Canyon ISD chat, and it will go out to everyone. As you begin to respond, your responses will look like this. So if it's Q1 that we're responding to, you'll want to put an A1 for answer one. And then you would say, I believe, or whatever your response is as you go through, and then attach the the hashtag Canyon ISD chat, and we'll be able to see everyone's answers as they um, as they're posted. Then uh, we'll start wrapping up question one. We'll send out a tweet that says we're about to begin the next one, and then we'll send out one that says Q2, and we'll move on to the second question. So Debbie and I will always start uh, the questions with the Q. And then the number, will attach the hashtag, and as you respond, you'll always respond with the A and the number um, with the hashtag. So we'll be able to follow each other as we move through this one. Here's what it looks like. So this is a screenshot of a, a Twitter chat that we did last year. And you can see that Joy, um, at the very top of the page, she was um, filling in some more thoughts on answer four from, from the question four that we sent. So her answer four is there. And then at some point we've posed the question and April has gone ahead to question or the starting to answer question five. 
And so you can see how she responded to question five with her A5 and then attached the, the hashtag on that. You can see Angela Stevens came in with an answer for question five. Rachel Huseman came in for an answer for question five. So you can see that Yolanda wanted to send a message directly to Shanna. So she typed in Shanna's name, uh, her Twitter account name, and then sent a message to Shanna and she attached the hashtag. If you do that, notice everyone can see because the hashtag's attached to it, but that's her way of responding directly to someone else in the chat, which is great. And then you can see Chris posted um, an answer to question five also. So that's the way these will look as we start working through this one. And um, it's really fun. Like Debbie was saying, it's fast paced and, and really enjoyable. The hour will fly by. And we are grateful again. Remember that anyone who participates in the evening chat will have their name put in the drawing for an iPad from Brown, Graham and Company. And we just can't wait. I'm, I'm telling you, it's fun. It's fast. People who participated last year loved it and got great uh, learning from each other. So we are looking forward to you joining us on uh, Wednesday, March 4th, 8 to 9 p.m. with the topic of grit.